Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new Let's Play here on the channel. This is going to be the Landon Legacy. I have never done a Legacy Challenge here on my channel. It's not going to be a challenge per se, but we'll get into that in a second. So I'm going to start off this Let's Play by saying a little bit about myself. I am Little Miss Simmer. Um, some of you might know me by my first name, Dominique. Most people call me Dom. Um, and I make Let's Plays of my favourite games here on my channel. Mostly The Sims 4. I do a bit more, do a bit more of The Sims 3. Um, I'm still kind of waiting for a bit more feedback on that because I'm not getting really a general consensus on what Sims 3 you would want. I'm kind of thinking an all-in-one style, but I'm not sure. Um, so yeah, I haven't done a Sims for Legacy. Um, this is the beautiful Dakota Landon. Um, she is going to be our Legacy Sim. And if you couldn't already tell, she is a teen. Um, I kind of wanted to go with a runaway teen vibe slash Legacy. Um, but then I started watching viva city's let's play and she'd kind of done that so well she had entirely done that and it is amazing guys you should go and watch it it is so good um i was watching it while i was doing my essay and i was like gripped like oh my god this is such a good let's play um so i kind of like i wanted to let her keep that and i thought like i still wanted to make her a teen though but i completely revamped the story and everything so it wasn't so much of a runaway teen um but yeah so she doesn't have many clothes because she right, well actually i'm not even gonna get into that yet i'm gonna tell you more about the sim um so yeah her name's dakota her last name's landon this is going to be the landon legacy she has a feminine walk because i always use a feminine walk because the feminine walk slays um this is her voice and it's kind of high-pitched because she is a teen she wants to have a successful lineage she is domestic a kleptomaniac and a music lover and to get into her backstory um Dakota was in care. She's grew up in care her whole life. Um, she doesn't really know why she was put there. She doesn't know her mum. She doesn't know her dad. All she knows is that the care home that she was staying in lost most of her files, whether they lost them or not, is a completely different question. And so they couldn't give her much information about her background. She knows her mum's name and that she was really young when she had her and, and that's and that's about it she doesn't know she has any siblings she doesn't know anything about her father she doesn't know much about her background and so this is going to kind of be her chance to start her own family and start her family tree again from the beginning starting from her because she doesn't know the family before her she doesn't really have a family tree that she can put together for herself and she kind of wants to start now and start building a family she doesn't want any of her children to ever to not be able to say that they don't know their family and where they came from and all the history and that sort of thing so that's where we're going with this let's play so um in the uk when you are in the care system you are usually made to leave at the age of 16 because in the uk england well i couldn't say entirely england but where i am in England um when you reach the age of 16 this this is really weird why is that like that has any of you noticed why this is not in the center is it because she's standing no she's standing straight well her, her leg this is like not in the middle this is annoying right I'm just gonna like trying to ignore that <laughs> that's gonna like really bug me that that's not is that always been like that not in the middle like that I'm completely going off topic right now. Um, anyway, as I was saying, did she have this colour or did she have, did she had the lighter colour? Um, um, what was I saying? So yeah, you get, you get kicked out at 16, you're left to fend for yourself, um, and go and live. They don't, I don't know if they give you much help. She got a little bit of money, but she kind of, 
you know spent it on a few things that you'll see on the lot um and i'll get into all of that information when we get out of creator sim but yeah so she's kind of been left to fend for herself she doesn't really have any family that she can go and stay with she can't afford to get a flat or rent anywhere she doesn't have any friends really she's kind of just on her own and she's starting from absolutely nothing which we would originally in a legacy challenge now as i said earlier i'm not really going to make it a challenge per se i want it to be more story driven because that's what i like to do on my channel i like to have a background for my sims and storylines and drama and lots of exciting fun twists and that sort of thing because i think it's really entertaining um and a really fun way to play i feel i've played a lot of challenges before we have to follow rules and that sort of thing and it's just it it kind it gets a bit restrictive and then you get people commenting saying you can't do this you can't do that and i kind of want to be able to do what i want but still have a legacy so it's kind of like a more of a legacy let's play sort of thing um but we're still doing elements of the challenge you know starting with nothing and um having lots of generations and that sort of thing i guess you could call it like a sims for generations let's play sort of because we're going to be following like her her legacy um i'm gonna try and keep this lp going for as long as i possibly can i usually tend to get bored at around 25 to 30 parts and i'm gonna try really hard not to i'm gonna try and keep going um i wasn't planning on uploading this until after my exams but i'm like having like a weekend break and i got this all prepared and it was just sat waiting to go and i was like hmm, i'll record a few now and um get them uploaded for you guys because i think a new lp is needed on my channel so yes if you're excited comment down below i'm so i'm so i'm so i'm so i'm so excited for a brand new let's play because new lps are so much fun like starting from the beginning and seeing where you're gonna end up um so yeah I'm going to show you guys her clothes now because she is like homeless and she's just left the care system and she couldn't really take much with her because she didn't really have much anyway if you guys have ever watched like tracy beaker <laughs> i used to love tracy beaker as a kid like the kids weren't really spoiled they couldn't really have things that the other children i can see like spider webs and i'm terrified of spiders gonna come okay please don't um <laughs> um so yeah the children don't really don't really have very much they're not really sport and they can't have things that other children can have like fancy gadgets and that sort of thing so she doesn't she didn't really take many clothes um she has pretty much the same outfit for all um for her sleepwear though i did have one of her sleepwears as her underwear because i don't know it might get really hot um um, so yeah this is pretty much the only outfit that she has and her swim hair, her swimwear is her underwear again um so yeah she has she literally has nothing but these clothes on her back and a musical ability and mm -hmm. she's a kleptomaniac because in care it's not it's a bit i i want to compare it to living in a hostel or something you know you're living with these random people who have to be there as well and it's just sort of like people pinching your things so you go and pinch your things back and stealing and and it's not it's not really it's not really ideal and so she sort of built up a skill with stealing things from other people um so that's where that came from and she loves the music she loves to play the guitar when she moved into care you know she couldn't they wouldn't let her have that sort of thing and so she would really like to build up a guitar skill and hopefully we can make a bit of money from tips from that so yes that is dakota landon landon i need i knew you said landing then <laughs> not landing um so yeah she does really want to find her mother and you know try and go back further than her but at the moment that is looking kind of why does that say madsen um it's looking kind of unlikely at this point especially with um the care home not giving her much information in the slightest um so this is the lot we're on i basically if i go into manage worlds i'm going to save and go into manage worlds i'm going to show you guys what i've done this literally took me an entire day to prepare i've literally prepared this let's play down to a freaking t um so yeah technical difficulty my um uh what's it even called my screen capture decided to stop working um so yeah the, we're in the world of windenburg you are on the legacy challenge supposed to go with a big big lot and i did put her on here but it was 
horrible because the lot was ginormous and she was kind of stuffed in the corner and it was so big and it just looked horrible and I kind of wanted it to look like she was sort of living in the forest so I did put her onto this one which is the second biggest one yeah the 40 by 30 I got rid of all the lots so it's kind of like she found a little abandoned island and decided to set up camp there and I left the bluffs there because that's kind of like cool um I've moved all different families in. I got them all off the gallery. So you might see some of your little sims plopped around. We have the step family here. I would read out like their stories to all of you. But literally, literally, I wrote them all. I gave them all little stories and everything. Um, we have the Turner brothers. William Hernandez. We have the step family. We have Ali. It's the Stevens. And I did it for all the worlds as well. I didn't get rid of all the all the base game like sims but i did move some of them out I moved some new ones in we have justine becker anderson um i did a few more i think that's all i did for oasis springs um but yeah and i did it in willow creek as well i didn't place down many extra lots i just kind of i wanted to change it up a bit and not have the typical you know base families that are there every time you start a new game i kind of wanted it to be a little bit different and add some more characters in and make it a bit more exciting especially with get together because with the get together family it's kind of like we're playing with them again and it's like because they're such a big part of my um get together let's play which obviously um i kind of wanted to change it up in windenburg a little bit um so let's actually start playing um so we do need to start making some money um she's doing that already which is brilliant i'll show you our little area where we're living and i have her come and dig this as well literally why is there a bin there well at least we have a bin that we don't have to pay for there is a blackberry bush i don't think i've ever got blackberries in the sims 4 they're never harvestable when i go to get them so i've never but we have lots of them around us so this is good oh there's also a frog there we've picked the perfect spot we really have when i first came when i first set this up i swear there was nothing here but there's quite a lot surrounding us without if us even having to plant anything um so this is her little area she found a little tree it's quite was well, not little it's quite big and um she's got all her little moving boxes and her bag and um she got a book now there's a there's a sort of big dealio behind why she has a book um which i'll explain in a second she has her complimentary letter box which we can't actually get rid of she of course she wouldn't carry around a letter box with her but every lot has to have one so we do she has a little tree stump that you know she sits on and her little fireplace um she went around collecting a bit of wood and rocks from around the beaches and that sort of thing we have a lot of beaches around like beachy shores we really picked the best one wow i'm so glad we picked this one because the big one was awful it really wasn't that nice um i'm gonna have her come and dig this um we'll dig for treasure um so yeah this is her little lot now the book the book julio um this first part is going to be a lot of me explaining the story and kind of what's going on um so yeah sorry for lots of explanatory ness um <laughs> but the first parts are always like awkward getting all the boring stuff out of the way um so yeah she has this book because this guy who lives in windenburg he's sort of like a doctor sort of guy and he she dug up a capsule well dugged she dug up a capsule and he comes and before she you know started living here he used to come and he used to sit in the woods and he used to read read his books because he enjoys solitude how beautiful is this windenburg is so beautiful it really is um but yeah he used to come and he used to sit and read and you know one day he came and he found this girl setting up camp and sat by her fire with nothing really to do and he gave her a book and so she's in the process of reading it and sometimes he comes and he reads to her and he talks to her which is at the same time weird because she's a teen but at the same time it's not because i don't think he's a weirdo like that um because this is a sims <laughs> um but yes we really picked a great area what have we got so far we can actually start playing now i'm gonna sell these straight up because when you open them they lose their value i'm gonna wait until we find another frog and then we can breed it and get another one i don't know with the fossils though guys if you extract them are they worth more or are they worth more when you don't extract them you will have to let me know we can harvest this one snapdragon flower that's a growing year might as well pick that and sell it even though they're worth virtually nothing um 
we haven't really got much yet that I can't English we haven't got much to harvest in terms of actual um, vegetation but we've got lots of things to dig and lots of things like lots of frog logs which is good I underestimated this area I really did I didn't realize there was so much I always think Willow Creek is the best for this kind of stuff Oasis Springs Park is really good as well but I wanted to not do either of those two because I play in Willow Creek the most it's not my favorite world um, and I haven't really explored Oasis Springs that much but I didn't feel like it was the right location for this let's play um, so yeah we're just gonna go around we're gonna do lots of digging we're gonna try and make lots of moolah so we can get her a guitar and she can start um, getting tips and that sort of thing um, there we go five smolians for that right let's breed this frog with the eggplant frog and we got another eggplant frog so i'm gonna sell those two and i'm gonna i'm always gonna keep a frog in case we get like a different frog because like um then you can have more frogs because <laughs> you can breed them uh blue bell plant we've also got these bushes around here where we can go to the toilet because we don't have a toilet or anything yet how much are these worth okay these are so being sold um what's this strawberries can't harvest those yet so yeah this island's big it's big there's a lot to it um i don't know how far away this is but i'm gonna make her come and dig it i'm sorry my lovely i might have her come and fish as well um the fishing skill will definitely be helpful i don't know if we can like um cook fish on these that's why i got the campfire anyway but it would make sense to kind of get rid of it if we can just use these ones that are already on the beach um where are you oh god you're far another capsule i'm gonna sell that we've already got 300 small ones already like we're doing well guys we're doing pretty damn well Ah, love new let's plays. So exciting. Right, I saw another one. Gonna come and take this. I've got the um oh. I've got it on normal. I'm tiny kinda of tempted to put it on long. Thirteen days until she ages up and we've literally just started. Um this would be a very, very short legacy if I put it on um is it on short? I don't ever put it on short, it's always on long, but I put it on normal but just for the the sake of it but if it feel like it's too soon then i'll put it back a bit i'm gonna clear this before i get a notification saying it's full right she's just acquired the fishing skill i should hope i don't know how she's got oh yeah from her phone um she shouldn't because she's a teen well i don't even know if she's gonna have school because she is a teen she's a c student she has class in 17 hours but she won't be going because I guess she doesn't see the point <laughs> oh there's an actual fish there and it was very close to the edge um and you can see all the different fish that you can catch oh my goodness have i is this always been like this because i never noticed um but yeah i'm not i'm not going to send going to send her to school because she's kind of like homeless <laughs> and she's not wearing you know she's gonna be wearing the same clothes every day she's gonna be dirty She's kind of like, even though I guess it's good, a good thing for her to educate herself, I don't think I'm going to send her to school. I don't know. It might be a bad thing, it might be a good thing, but I'm not. I'm not going to make her go to school. I don't think that it's going to help her in any way. I think she just needs to focus on living and surviving right now. And then later on, you know, she can read and she can teach herself and go at her own pace but i don't think continue oh they're too crafty for her continuing with school while she's in this situation is going to help her at all and if anything um it's just going to make her situation worse and bring her needs all down and i don't think it actually impacts your ability to get a job in the actual sims obviously in real life it would but in the sims nah all right we've got a frog log of course i'd love your guys's input in the comments down below so if you have any like suggestions or like ideas or money making 
tips or storyline ideas always comment them oh we have a grow fruit tree if i knew they were already planted in this game would you, like the glow is it grow fruit or glow fruit i keep forgetting it's grow fruit if i know they were already dotted around like i totally would have not even bothered growing my own but i never did i never got those planter pots because i was so busy i hardly played the sims um and i never got the planter pot but oh well oh well we've got some grow fruit trees which is awesome i thought they were going to take them out completely but they've left them in and we have we can travel to the bluffs let's go to the bluffs she's getting kind of hungry but hopefully there's something she can eat there that was where 90 simoleons were doing really well right we're gonna travel to the bluffs hopefully there's something there we can eat like i don't know we can't eat flowers we can eat vegetables though but i hardly doubt anything will be grown because nothing's ever grown in the beginning but oh that music um yeah nothing's ever grown in the beginning unfortunately sell a few more of these things breed more frogs oh we got a new frog we got a sunflower frog right i'm gonna get rid of this eggplant frog and i'm going to keep these to breed again uh right what do we have here i wonder does swimming in here get her hygiene up i don't know if it does or not i know she can pee in there but i don't know if it gets her hygiene up at all got another bin randomly dotted there's a lot of grass and things it's very pretty here I can't really tell the terrain from the plants. I don't really think there is many, to be honest. I think this is mainly like a social area. No, it actually puts her hygiene down. Okay. Does it help her in any way? No, it's just making her tired. Okay. Sit there for a bit. Um, there's nothing here to harvest or anything. Oh, dear. Well, that's not great, is it? I thought there'd be a bit more here but i guess it's just oh oh we have something it's just a social oh we have something growing here as well grow fruit tree is growing we have another one there but of course it's not growing yet we have a strawberry bush that's not growing yet everything is not growing yet we have a blue bell plant that's not grown yet nothing has grown we have a blue bell plant some mushrooms growing here okay so we do have quite a lot actually it's just not grown yet we have loads well a pear tree another thing to dig over here i guess i was just looking from the wrong angle so we have a lot so we will head back soon i don't know what the house is going to eat right let's let's go home let's go home i guess we could order pizza i mean she still has her phone um i don't know how the hell she's charging it but you know it's the sims um so we could order pizza she has the money to um we don't have anything oh no we can cook food on this even though we don't have fish don't we right, let's like this maybe you should put your clothes back on girl you're still in your underwear slash swimwear that carton legit looked like glue um we can't cook food Luna. what um i swear is it have i like picked the wrong one i swear there was one way you could make food let's have a look in build mode this is why can't i cook food on this outdoor activities have i picked the wrong is this the this is exactly the same one. It's this one where you cook food. Oh my goodness. I'm <laughs> sorry. Well, we got a bit of money back. And now there's a big thing on the ground. Right, there we go. This is the one where we cook food. Let's get rid of this terrain paint that I've put around. We'll keep some, of course, because it just adds that element of realism. There we go, and I'll put a little bit more. There we go. Right now, can we cook food? <laughs> it's so tiny. I guess it's much more realistic. 
Yes, we can roast food. Right, we'll make some veggie dogs. There we go. She's not going to starve to death. Um, that was a close call. Uh, so, yeah, guys. I'm going to go ahead and sell one of these. Oh, that's some more. Can't be the frogs again yet. Can we buy a, a bed? I don't know where she's going to sleep. I don't know where she's going to sleep. Uh, we can buy a kid's bed. Um... We can buy this horrible ugly thing. I kind of don't want to. How much is a tent? And then outdoor activities. Tents are a lot of money. We could do one of these as well. I'm not sure. We have so much money and I don't know what to spend it on first. I kind of want to get her a little light as well for when it gets dark. A little outdoor lantern which isn't necessary in the slightest but you know um stop um yeah i kind of want to get her like this Don't know where the hell it's going. Right. Um, I kind of want to find like some CC um, that's more like not like an actual bed on on the ground. I don't know, maybe like a CC um, sleeping bag or something cool like that, and we can save up and buy that instead but i'm going to go ahead and end this part here i really hope you enjoyed the first part of my land and legacy and i will see you next time bye guys Don't